In just over a month, I built a mobile app and had it on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store ready to be downloaded. Now I'm going to talk about what I did so you can do it too. Me and a friend had an idea for a fitness app to help people find and share their workouts. We spoke with our target customers and we quickly realised we wanted it to be a mobile app. As I'd used Bubble before, naturally I wanted to learn if and how to build a native mobile app using it. If you've never heard of Bubble, it's an amazing tool for building apps without code. Check out my last video to learn how to get started using it. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how we got our app on the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Let's get into it. So how did I get started? Like almost always when I want to learn something new with Bubble, I went to the forum and I found a couple great threads which I've linked in the bio. Firstly, it became apparent that the only way to do it is to use a wrapper. So a wrapper is when you have a mobile app that can be downloaded on the App Store and the Play Store, but what, when you actually open the app, what you are seeing is what you would see in the browser. So one downside of this is that your mobile app can only be used when you're online. That was okay for what we wanted. Another dark downside is that you want to be able to use native features like notifications or in-app purchases. So that was when I found the BDK Native Bubble plugin, which gives you the options to add native mobile app actions. The plugin costs $16 and has a whole heap of native elements and actions. So because I was using the BDK plugin, I decided to use the BDK native service as well. This costs $349 for both the Apple and Android app. Guarav provides amazing documentation and amazing guidance, as well as test apps for both Apple and Android. This made the whole experience way easier. If you are on a budget, there is another option um, of using the open source JSONL. Um, if you're interested in that, I've put a link to it in the bio. Once I was done with the research, it was time to put the plan into action. So now I'm going to talk you through the steps I took, updated with the beauty of hindsight. Step one, set up your bubble app install the BDK native plugin and have a read over the plugin documentation to familiarize yourself with what is possible. Um, follow the best practices and have a play about with the features. Step two, build your bubble app and um, making sure that it is mobile friendly and add in any native actions where you think it is necessary. This will take the most effort and using the plugin will entail some trial and error. Step three, download the BDK test apps for both Apple and Android. Test your app thoroughly, especially making sure the native features work. Step four, set up your accounts. For notifications, you need a free OneSignal account and Google Firebase account. And then you need a Google Play account, which is $25 a year, and an Apple developer account, which is $99 a year. Step five, once everything is ready, submit your app to BDK and they will do the mobile app build. It's worth noting that once the app is on the App Store, you can still make changes via Bubble, but some changes may need a rebuild. This has been great for us because it's mean we it means we've been able to iterate our app really fast. Step six, get your app store and play store bios looking perfect and then submit your app for the final review. Um, the review usually takes about one day but can take more or less. Step seven, make the inevitable changes that Apple will require. Um, we had to do this about five times, 
um, I had to change the font size to better suit iPads. Um, I had to add a report button to the comments section. But every change they suggested only made the app better. And it was super easy to make those changes in Bubble and then super easy to submit them again to Apple. And again, it took about a day each time. Step eight, your app should be live, so congratulations. Um, now it's time to get users, which for a lot of us can be the hardest part. So good luck. Here it is, Instatrain. Within a month, this app, although nowhere near perfect, was on the app stores with all the native features we required. This has given us a solid foundation and an affordable way to get our app into the hands of our users. So it's free to download if you want to check it out and have a play about with the features and you might even find yourself a workout. I was very happy with how the process went. Um, it takes a bit of trial and error, but using Bubble, this is really fast. Um, the BDK support was amazing and Guarov is regularly updating the plugin, which gives you new native features, which is amazing. Um, this has been a really quick overview, so I haven't been able to cover everything, but if you have any questions, leave me a comment and I will try my best to answer them. Thank you.